I woke up this morning with my dick on This has been absolutely beautiful, you guys. I can't believe it's come to an end. Uh, you guys will always be in my heart. And uh, I sincerely, sincerely appreciate it. No words can describe how I feel about you guys. And uh, thank you, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I, God, I love you guys. Now what the fuck is up? I'm at your neck like a penalty, nigga. I need. What can I say? Bitch, I need Mamba out. All right, so what is up, y'all? It's Legendary EA back here for another rebuild on 2K16, y'all. And like I said in my last video, if you guys missed that one, go and check it out. It is a brand new series that I'm doing with my GM slash my league. It's with the Toon Squad from Space Jam, so go and check that out. A card should appear on the screen, but also a link will be in the description below. And if I forget, check it out on my channel, y'all. You guys already know how to get there. And subscribe if you guys are new, and I always make sure to like this video. So as you guys can see from the squad, we do have Jimmy Butler. This is what if Jimmy Butler actually gets traded to the Timberwolves, y'all. Now you already know. So the way I set this up is I actually traded him with Ricky Rubio. Now I do feel like if this trade were to happen, Ricky Rubio would be involved. And obviously that number five overall pick. And probably some of these players from the Timberwolves. It might even be Zach Levine, but I didn't put him in there just because he he actually might stay. But Pekovic could, could be involved. Uh, Adrian Payne could obviously be involved, so might Shabazz Muhammad, those players will, but, but the Timberwolves are not going to give up Wiggins, they're not going to give up Towns, and yeah, they aren't going to give those two players up for sure. Maybe even Zach Levine, they, they might not even give him up either, but we're just doing this from a hypothetical situation. Now, if this trade were us to happen, and they did trade Rick Rubio to the Bulls, D. Rose, is, he's obviously on his way, y'all, they already said that they are... They are pushing towards uh, blowing up this roster, basically. And they really want to keep Jimmy Butler, but in reality, if you guys really want to start fresh, you guys might have to give her a both. But Derrick Rose is definitely going to be out if this trade was to go through. Yeah, he's going to be on his way out. I mean, Rubio's cheaper, and he's younger. And he's taller, and he's a way better passer. But that's besides the point, y'all. Let's hop straight into this rebuild, y'all. Uh, I turned off injuries just like I do all the time. Let's see how this team can go. Looking at the lineup, they actually had Kevin Garnett starting now. Hell no. He does not start now. And if Tom Thibodeau takes over, he still won't be starting. And this is pretty cool how Jimmy Butler is, is reuniting with his old coach. But as of, as of right now, the starting lineup is Zach Levine, Jimmy Butler, Andrew Wiggins, Gorgie Dang, and Carl Anthony Towns with Pekovic as his sixth man and Kevin Garnett getting seven minutes a game, playing his mentor role. Now, as far as the Bulls go, I think Rubio is starting at point guard, D. Rose is at shooting guard, and Doug McDermott is at small forward, and after that, Paul Gasol is at center, and I do not know who their power forward is. But anyways, y'all, let's get straight into this rebuild, and let's get straight into this simming, y'all. I'm hoping that this team does really, really good, and ah, uh, we actually, we should make the playoffs, yeah. We should make the playoffs with this team, and look at this, y'all. They already got us contending already. They appear to be championship contenders, so they probably won't be making a lot of trades. Obviously, I'm not doing that. Yo, let's hope that this team can actually be very, very good. That's what I really want to happen, especially with them being my favorite team. I want them to actually succeed. Now, right now, we aren't having the best start, but hopefully we can just, you know, keep on balling out and actually win towards the end of the season. Because right now, we are taking mad L's. We had not lose them. Okay, at least we didn't lose the 76ers. At least we didn't lose to them, because that would be unbearable. At the trade deadline, we are 500. We have a 500 record. We are 27 and 27, and we're actually in the playoff hunt at the seven seed, y'all. Not too shabby. I wanted more, but I do got to remember that this team is still young. Even though some of them have high overalls, this team, they're still a young team. And, yo, I honestly believe that in the future, Minnesota is going to be a team to be reckoned with. Along with probably the Los Angeles Lakers, y'all. Don't sleep on them either. Don't don't sleep on them, especially depending on who they use this number two pick on this season. Do not sleep on them, y'all. But let me know. Do you guys believe that the Lakers and the Timberwolves are going to be forces to be reckoned with in the future? Let me know what you guys think about that in the comment section below. But let's look at this squad. Nothing, no major changes right there. But let's see how it's going. We're still contending. Okay, let's look at the player stat. Jimmy Butler is averaging... 23 points a game. Carl Anthony Towns is averaging a double double. Wiggins is averaging 17 points a game. So, yo, all of our stars are pretty much doing their part, and you know they're all pretty much playing good. KD's averaging two points a game. Yo, when's he gonna retire though? I mean, for, I mean, come on, be honest. When he is he gonna retire? Uh, Butler's fourth amongst all shooting guards. Wiggins 
is eighth around small forwards. Towns is 7th among the centers. Alright, so yo, we gotta get this thing popping, y'all. Let's see this. Doesn't really matter to us. Of course, Towns is number one for rookie of the year. He always is gonna be uh Zach Levine's most improved player. Okay. Let's go and let's simulate to the end of this season, y'all. Bro, I'm sick of the Oh my goodness. The Thunder are always at the top of the comp and you guys already know Russell Westbrook or Kevin Durant will win the MVP this is actually the first time I see the San Antonio Spurs at the top of the West in 2k because you know 2k always does that and yeah let's get back into this and let's sim to the end of the season let's see how we're doing hopefully this team can you know keep the playoff spot and possibly win a championship and at the end of the season, like I said before, Russell Westbrook, of course he wins MVP. He almost averaged a triple-double with one more rebound. He would basically have a triple-double. That's freaking crazy. Towns is Rookie of the Year. And Zach Levine gets hold and does not win Most Improved Player of the Year. Wow. Okay, do we have anybody on any of these teams? Jimmy Butler makes All-NBA second team. That's about it. He also makes all defensive first team. So, yo, he pretty much balled. And you already know about Towns. You guys, you guys already know about the myth of Carl Anthony Towns. Now, we did squeeze in the sixth seed, y'all. Let's see how my players did. Okay. The sets are pretty much the same, to be honest with you. Uh, they didn't really change. But anyways, y'all, let's get straight into it. We are the sixth seed. Let's see. We're taking on the San Antonio Spurs. Bro, let's go. Let's go. I think that we might be able to beat this team in 2K. Definitely not in real life, but in 2K, you know, 2K, 2K is 2K. They they do some crazy off the wall stuff. Yeah, we should be able to beat this team. I hope so. I really hope so. So simming game one, they take game one. They take game two. They take game. Oh shit! We've low key about to get swept. We about to get swept. Okay. We're playing at home, so let's hope that we don't actually lose at home. We're actually playing kind of... Okay, okay. I think we got this. All right, we actually win game four at home, but bruh, can we be the Cavaliers and force a game seven? Jimmy Butler gets himself 31 points. Zach Levine gets 30. Towns gets 15 and 14. Wiggins gets 13. Pekovic gets 20 off the bench. Okay. Okay, y'all. I see y'all. Uh, let's... All right, let's see what we can do. I don't... Okay, let's... Let's start Kevin Garnett and let's see what this old man can do. I guess. I mean, we have really, we really have nothing to like lose, so we might as well see how that goes. Yeah. So we actually do get eliminated in Game Five, y'all. We lose to the San Antonio Spurs four to one, and you know what? It, it's all good. But we can always say that if Jimmy Butler did trade it to the Timberwolves in that first year, they would make the NBA playoffs. And I'm sure that in the future that they will definitely win a championship without a doubt. I mean, Jimmy Butler's 26. But I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode, y'all. Make sure to slap that like button for more what ifs, y'all. And also, more rebuilding videos will be coming back in the future, y'all. But until next time, y'all, somehow the Milwaukee Bucks made it to the NBA Finals. I don't know how they did that. And that really makes me question 2K. Like I said before, like, how does this, I mean, I know they have Giannis and Chris Middleton, but that really makes no sense. But do you guys enjoyed this episode, y'all. And for more episodes, make sure to slap that like button, y'all. And always subscribe if you guys are brand new. Check out my video from yesterday. And until next time, y'all, I'm out. Peace.